thank you everyone for coming today. It's um, we had a little bit of rain scare this morning, a few drops, but it turned out to be a beautiful sunny day. So this is this is amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'd like to start by thanking Alden and Connie Meyer so much for donating Bowen Island. It's um, and creating a lasting legacy for local conservation. It's a, it's a beautiful island as so far, you've only seen a little bit of it, but um, if you're familiar with this area, you know it's a very beautiful island. Bowen Island is part of the Forshaw Island Complex, which has been identified as one of the key island complexes for biodiversity conservation within the St. Mary's River. A Forshaw Island Complex is all these islands in this Pine Island area here. These islands provide important habitat for colonial nesting water birds. It has physical and biological diversity, and the primary threat in this area is um, residential and seasonal development. Bowen Island is also located within the St. Mary's River complex important bird area. This is a significant area for breeding species such as black tern, common tern, least bittern, bald eagle, and osprey. It's also an important stopover site for migrating birds in the spring and fall, specifically rusty blackbirds and a variety of waterfowl. The coast should be preserved in its wild and pristine state and its ecological diversity and scenic beauty protected and restored for the benefit of current and future generations. Since protecting Bowen Island in October of 2023, we've already recorded almost 100 different species of plants and wildlife who are benefit from having this island here. So it's it's pretty great, the, the variety that we've found so far. I'll tell you a little bit about the origin story. I've been coming up here since I was three years old. Uh, our camp was down the lake, first on Campador Island, then on Portlock Island. And uh, Connie's been coming up here since we first met in 1988, and she loved it on her first visit, and treasure's coming back every year. We soon realized that we were going to need a place of our own for our family and reunions for her family and to host friends. You may know uh, they were someone had subdivided Sutton Island and was trying to sell lots on the island and we saw a real estate ad for that so we came down just to check out this area. Despite having come up since the 1950s I had never been across from the lighthouse and Llewellyn Beach and St. Joe over to this island and we just fell in love with it. treasuring coming over to Bowen Island for hiking and, and picnics and, and just to uh, enjoy its, its beauty. And so we realized that we wanted to see Bowen preserved in perpetuity, as, as Carter said, uh, and we worked with uh, TKC and with AFCC to make that happen, and that's the, the net result of what we're experiencing today. This is a very special place for us. I mean, the, the summer's up here, and now for us, the uh, late springs and early falls, as we spend more up time up here, it's just, uh, it refreshes the soul. Originally, Alden and I felt a strong impulse to give the land back to where it belongs. Nurturing the beautiful mosses, the trees, the mother duck who brings her babies to enter the cove to teach them how to swim where it's safe in the reeds. Trees and flowers, everything that's part of this interconnected ecosystem. Being in this beauty expands us in some way that's indescribable. It expands our heart, it expands our mind, it expands our creativity. And we wanted to have this be a place that people felt welcome to come and, and not feel a hesitation to come up on these rocks and enjoy a beautiful view and a picnic and feel the breeze in their face. And when you kayak around these inlets, I often have an eagle just like soar right over my canoe. Where can, I, where can you find that?
And so we wanted to share that. We wanted to make sure that everybody felt the welcoming embrace of Bowen Island. As my attention focused on the island in my heart, I felt she was very amused that she had a name or that she could be owned. Her rocky base formed from ancient volcanoes emerging from the watery planet four billion years ago, formed the first dry land and has a story to tell. If you can just quiet your mind from the busy world and listen and communicate with nature in the silence. She has been present through the ice age with the glaciers scraping her clean and the emergence of resilient plants and trees. She has been harboring and nurturing life long before human presence. It turns out we cannot own or give away Bowen. Our only role is to remember who and what she is and love the magic of creation and have the honor and privilege of being stewards so the future generations can connect to that place inside us all that comes alive in the natural world. Instead of celebrating a gift, we come together to honor a sacred place that has been here all along. Uh-huh. 